Good morning everyone. Today I am still doing the 30 days of sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life and also the collection obsession. And so I am using the um, Blissful Time by Mente. I have my um, granddaughter here, Alex, who is one of the twins. And I guess we're just going to get right to it. And I'm thinking that she's right about there in the layout. Oh, and I will have the picture right here of the sketch. So, oh yes, I actually made a mark. <laughs> it's been like since yesterday I started playing with this. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tape her down over here. And again, I'm only taping in the middle because today I will be doing some tucking. I always say that it's like I don't even how come I bother because I never tuck anything, but today I am going to tuck something. And let's see, can I erase that before I put down the picture? I guess it doesn't matter because everything's going to get covered up. Okay. So I'm putting that right there. And she's straight. And... I love how this collection is like same color as her shirt. It's so cute. Her mom takes a picture of them every day before um, they go to school. And she was just kind of leaning up against the house. And I just thought it was so cute. Her mom thought it was so cute. And it was so funny because her mom used to worry that her hair would not be thick. And it's like I come from a long line of thick haired people. <laughs> I, I said, don't worry about it. It will happen. Okay, and so I've got all these beautiful cut-apart flowers. And I am going to be tucking them around here. And I think I'm doing that there. And that there. Or the other way. Around. Yeah, that's the way I'm putting it. Okay, and from my sketch, they actually had... Um, it looked like these long, skinny... Um, frames all the way around but I didn't have that but I did have these ones and I forgot to bring it over but I will put it down below what it's from and I had been gifted them um, after I had re received them for Christmas one year after I got my die cut machine which was so I got them last year I think because I think I bought my die cut machine just before that. So I am just putting on a little glue here and there. I'm thinking that the things I put on them would probably hold down these because they're they're pretty delicate. And so I just need a little bit here and there to kind of anchor them. And I'm going to tuck this right in here and I kind of made myself a dot where I wanted it to start out which is right here so I'm just kind of letting it um, stretch out here and then I've got a smaller one so you know how it's like we can kind of interpret the sketch how we want and I would have loved to have had those big ones but I really love how these um, looked when I was playing with it to see how it was going to look. Okay, so I am just letting them kind of fall there. And then I'm going to put this one. Let's see. I don't know if I can actually see both of my dots, but it doesn't matter as long as I'm close anyway because they're kind of um, a little abstract design. I'm trying to make sure that you guys are, or I'm still in the frame. Okay, that you guys can still see. Okay, so I'm starting this up a little higher. Oh, is that going to, I guess it kind of goes the same way. 
So, oh, I think it's just because I am running into the tape. Oh, and now I'm stuck to the tape. <laughs> I never said it was going to be easy. <laughs> I love these things though. They, I love how they look on here. It's just such a fun little addition. It's so funny because um, it's very contemporary and even though I do kind of sometimes such simple um, layouts, I never think of myself as being contemporary but I love how these look. I think they're adorable. Okay, so I've got those down. Well, kind of. <laughs> okay, and I think that they will stay there. Okay, and now in the picture, there is, there's like a little thing underneath the picture. So I actually took one of these cut-aparts, the three by fours, and I took one of the frames and I'm cutting it in half because I want the same one up at the top. Okay, and I'm gonna stick it up probably about here. And I'm gonna stick it gently just because, you know how when I get over here, it might not be exactly where I want it. Oh yeah, and I need to have it maybe a little bit more this way. because I don't want to cover up Alex. I still have it, now I have it up too high. I guess I should have made a mark for this. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I had to go grab my phone. Okay, so um, I've slid this over a little bit more this way. And I think it's probably about where it needs to be. Okay. And I'm going to stick that right there. And I do want some dimensional tape underneath it. Or behind this piece. And I didn't do that ahead either. My goodness. You think I um, had something else that I had to do. <laughs> My husband works so many hours and um, it's like, so he's like always saying, oh, can you do this for me? Can you do this for me? And so I'm going, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So funny. And then sometimes he gets home and I don't have it done yet just because I'm, I'm still busy doing my thing. I still have to do my thing. <laughs> and you know what that is. Scrapbooking as much as possible. And I need to try to get um, some of my things done ahead because um, my daughter and the twins are coming for fall break for a few days. So it will be opportunity to get some pictures here with Grandma. Okay, I think that should be good there. Okay, but I'm going to definitely put these down first because these are going to be set a little lower. Oh, I'm trying not to knock over my ATG gun today. Okay, and I'm just kind of tucking it here where it kind of wraps around her but not covers her up too much. Okay. So that's good there. And then I've got this like little blue, it's kind of just a slight turquoise color. I think from now on I'm going to have to start ordering more embellishments because it seems like I I use more than what <laughs> what I have. Okay, and oh, also it's like there's a little tag or something in the 
in the sketch and I forgot that I even made these. Okay, so I just took another one of these cut aparts and I cut out the center and then just cut it in half because it's not going to be showing the whole thing anyway. So I figure I'm just going to, um, you know, use a little bit of it. Okay, so, and I've, um, I found a piece of paper that was very close to this cut, co the color that's in the collection so that I wouldn't have to use anything but a scrap. And I think I'm going to tuck it underneath the picture a little bit. Okay, and then I will glue this down here, I think. Okay, now I think I'm actually ready. <laughs> okay, I think this is just, the this collection is just so pretty. But then again, I don't think I've meant, met a Minte collection I haven't liked. Okay, so sometimes I don't think I have the tape pressed down far enough to get off all the pieces. Okay, where's my... I did pick up my table, and <laughs> so it's like, now I did put everything away, so I don't have all the everything right at my reach. So it's funny. Well, everything still is in reach. It's just that I usually still have everything sitting up right on the table. Okay. So I think that should be good. And then I have these little, they're like hydrangea buds. Got a dry throat, and I told you how um, it's like. Even though um, I've done this how many times now, um, it's like I still I don't know. It's weird. I just kind of get nervous, and it's like I have to pee three times before I <laughs> start filming, or and I need to drink a water, but I can't have my water next to me because you know what a mess that ended up being. Okay, do I want to tuck this in here? Or just let it kind of cascade out here somewhere. I hate to cover up my little point. I think I'm going to um, put it here because I'll end up putting some enamel dots there somewhere. But look at how cute this is already. I, I love the sketches that take me where I wouldn't normally go. I just love it. Because it's like... I never even thought about using these until um, I thought, oh, if I use all the flowers I want on here, there's not going to be any left. <laughs> That's what I was really thinking. It's like, okay, I've got to come up with something else. I thought, oh, I wish I had those things. And I have um, from Flower Soft, like these peel-offs. And they're probably, I don't know, maybe six inches. But I thought, oh my gosh, that would be like, it. I don't know if it would really give the look that is in the, in the actual sketch. So I thought, I don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm putting the other half of this frame and I'm just going to kind of, you know, put it like it's even. So I think I'm going to flip it around. because I have to just be able to see that. Okay, that's straight there. And there has been a couple of collections where I, um, it's like I found them too late or whatever, and then I didn't get any embellishments, and so I cut up the sheets, or the, three by four sheets and used them for embellishments. But it's it's fun to have a little bit of everything, you know? But I thought, I, I work it out, so I figured it, this I could do a mente as a, I know it's like no matter which way I turn it, it's actually the same <laughs> way. I figured I could actually use a mente as my obsession collection. So it's, 
I thought I really want to do that so oh I can actually turn it like this because my flowers are going to be down here a little bit more okay so I think that will work like that and I know um, this is kind of a little tedious job but um, I love how it looks and I don't know it's like to see it um, come together and um, turn out the way that you intended is just such a joy and you know it's like even though I played with this a little bit yesterday it's still kind of instant gratification because as soon as you put it together it's like I mean how long did it really take I mean sometimes it takes me longer to decide what I'm going to use for the actual um, papers than anything else. So it's like when I kind of decided that, okay, I'm going to make four layouts out of this paper, then you're kind of committed and then you just have to work with it. And just like the sketch, it's like it just kind of maybe takes you out of your um, comfort zone. But what fun, what fun. Because what's the worst that could happen? I guess the paper cut. <laughs> Oh, no I'm laughing too hard and then I I miss <laughs> yeah I'm thinking of scrapbooking the worst that could happen is paper gut okay now I end up getting a little bit of on the picture but that's okay I just go with the flow or in this case the glue <laughs> And um, if you click on the, the link in my description, you can go and find everybody's, oh, I don't want it there, everybody's pictures of their layouts or a link to their videos. I hope I got one part one to stick out. Oh, and it's kind of stuck to me. <laughs> the last one's my messiest one because I started laughing. I need to not do that. Ah! Oh, it wouldn't be October without a few screams, right? <laughs> okay, let me try it again. Okay, I'm going to try to get away without being stuck to it. I guess in the world of scrapbooking, I would say the worst thing would be the glue showing, which I know I'm going to have a little bit of a shine there unless my flower is covered up. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind. Oh, i got to still get that down there. Maybe I need to work with the tweezers when I'm working with this. I thought about putting those little tiny dots, you know, um, what are they? They're like those glue dots. And I'm thinking they'd probably just end up showing. Okay, so there's my my big flower so I'm gonna have that dimensional so I'm gonna again put it up on tape Oh, 
Okay, that should do it. Oh, no little tweezers. I'm trying to hurry. At least they're big pieces. Those little pieces, they take so long to pull off all the backs. And I had bought these one-dimensionals that they were a really nice size. I don't like them too overly big. But it was so hard to get the paper off them. It was ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to put this, I'm going to say right about there. But I need to put on my other ones first. It's so funny because um, her mom, she's like, I'll get a text and it was like, oh, look at this picture. Her hair looks so thick. It's like, well, it is getting thick. It's like they don't have, I mean, just think if your baby's popped out with that hair that um, they end up with later. <laughs> they, would, they would look so funny with their little heads. Okay, and there was also this um, dream catcher in the 4x6s, and so I cut that out. So even though I'm using a lot of the cut apart. I'm also using some of the um, 4x6 elements from those things. And sometimes I haven't used them at all. Well, yet. Okay, so I've got that little dream catcher there. And then I have um, some more of these little like hydrangea flowers. And Oh, and I forgot to put the, the little tag in here. Did I leave room for it? Because it's supposed to be tucked in right there. Let me see if I can tuck it in. Oh, look at that side. It's got a flower, it's so pretty there. Okay, let me see if I can tuck that in. If not, I could maybe make it smaller and tuck it in. Because it's supposed to be right in here. And I just want to make sure the end doesn't show. And then I'll put the string someplace here. Oh, and this was their pajama day, if I didn't say that. And, oops, a little of my tape is showing. Oh, my tape is showing. <laughs> And this is my last little flower. And I'm going to tuck that kind of close to this other flower. And so I'm calling it PJ Day. And these are our. Um, I got these at Tuesday morning and they are from the, is it, um, Pink Paisley, I just want to call it the wrong name, <laughs> Auburn Lane, I just want to call it Autumn Lane, Auburn Lane, and I've used the Auburn Lane collection, um, but I've never used the letters with it but I thought the letters looked perfect with this and that is one of the um, collections I was using for where I was making page kits with the other day and it's a beautiful collection and I even used it for some baby pictures because the like at a wedding um, those, those colors were looked perfect with the wedding that we were at. So I'm trying trying to make sure I've got it separated enough to look like PJ. 
and not like one word. <laughs> PJ Day. Okay. I think that's pretty good right there. Okay. And then um, I had bought these. They were from Hobby Lobby. And I just think they're adorable. I'm going to use um, a few of these just in here and there. I do have enamel dots too, but I don't know if I'm going to use them because I, I love these. They can, you know, for all the little the girlies that like pink hearts, I can just totally <laughs> replace the enamel dots with, with these little hearts. Use them on one of Skylar's pages too. Aren't they so adorable? I know one day it's like I had a plan to um, use them and then it's like I couldn't find them. And here I had stuck them in, the, I had kind of made like a baby kit. And so I had stuck them in there and then I had to go look for them. And I'll tell you when I go back to Hobby Lobby, I'm going to buy another set of them because the other day I used up a whole row and it looks like I'm working pretty hard on it now too. <laughs> And I'm just kind of putting them around just like a wood enamel dots. Oh, and you know how you end up wearing things when you um, when you're scrapbooking. Yeah, I got all done yesterday. I hadn't even used these and I was wearing one of them. So you know how easy it is. Let's see, I want another one in this color. This little spot. Okay. And. Oh, I would. Um, does anybody grow? Oh, the, the weeping. I think that they're called. Are they called? Weeping hearts. Hearts. What are they called? Somebody tell me. My friend, her mom had one, and it was stunning. It was enormous. So I remembered where she planted it, on the west side of the house. Oh, they're called bleeding hearts. That's it. And it's like it was the biggest one I had ever seen. It was gorgeous. Okay, there is Alex on PJ Day with her fabulous hair that her mom was so happy with. And I will glue down my strings and I'll have close-ups at the end. Thank you for watching. And remember, this is day two. And go down there and check out all the other girls and gentlemen that, I mean, ladies and gentlemen that are playing along. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.